Bruce Lee said, behind every motion is the music of a soul made visible. Every action, every thought, every deed, every motion is a, vibra a vibratory frequency of your inner self, of your thoughts, of your emotions, and even of the deep space that you are. Now, I get asked every day as I go through a store, as I'm chatting with folks, and they say, how you doing? And I tell them, man, I'm, I'm extraordinary, man. I am phenomenal. And they always look at me with that kind of sideways look like. And they say things like, I've not heard that before. Man, that was the first time today I've heard that. Or, man, I really like hearing that somebody's doing that good. And I look at them um, straight in the eyes and I say, you know, When I realized being happy was a choice, that was the last day I was ever miserable. Today I want to talk to you about how you can choose happy. You see, I wake up every single morning with this high key expectation, like an expectancy for an extraordinary day. I'm talking about a day that's fucking lit, that's fire. I'm talking about a record breaking kind of day, you know what I'm saying? Like one of the things that actually gets me hyped in the AM are thoughts of the various canvases that I have the opportunity to play with, create on, and ultimately compose. And when I talk about a canvas, what I'm actually making reference to is anything body, mind, or present moment related. I get super hyped for this. The first thing that we need to do is to begin, is to recognize that everything <clears throat> begins within. This is the first principle of all life artistry. Like everything begins within. Our truth, the truth is there is no inside and outside. There's no inside of the cup and outside of the cup. There's no inside of yourself and outside of yourself. But for the sake of this conversation, for the sake of this video, maybe even for the sake of your of helping you visualize this next practice, let's use the words inside and outside. Everything begins within, on the inner man, on the inner thought, on the thought life, on the emotional life. This is where all the creative substance of the universe lies. This is where everything that we have seen, everything that we've ever created has come forth from that. As a matter of fact, the technology right now that I'm using to record this video came from within someone's imaginative life. They sat around dreaming up, conjuring up emotion and dreaming up the what they wanted to invent or create. And now we have these iPhone 11s, shit like this but came from within. It didn't come from outside. It didn't just miraculously appear. The, evo the evolution of the iPhone began with that first one and it started within and then it has slowly evolved to what we have today. So I want to encourage you when you practice the upcoming, when you do the upcoming practice that I'm gonna encourage you to do, I want you to close your eyes when you do it and really go within, because when we look with our eyes, a lot of times we get blinded by what we see. Uh, first things first, we need to recognize that thoughts are like blocks. They're like the building blocks of your life. The, and the emotions are like the mortar that is used to lay those blocks. If you have one, but not the other. You won't be able to build the house. You won't be able to build the, the, the thing that you want. You won't be able to create the life that you want. You definitely won't be molding, shaping, creating on the lives of others the way that you really want to. And so I need you to recognize right now that developing these two tools or uh, what I would like to call a color, learning to use these the color of thought and emotion are of extreme importance in creating the life of your dreams in playing within the energy field of the universe in manifesting 
what you desire. To have thought or to be able to visualize what you want without the emotion of that visualization or to have to conjure up emotion of happy without being able to see clearly what you want to be happy about is useless. It's virtually meaningless. So to develop these two tools, these are kind of the foundational tools of life artistry, thought and emotion. And to develop these two tools and ultimately learn how to use these, what I really like to refer to them as color, is uh, like super important for all of us, especially in our life artistry practice. So <clears throat> let's just get right into it. If you could have, if you could feel any way you wanted to feel today, how would you feel? What would you feel today? Would you feel excited? Would you choose to feel happy, creative, sexy, maybe rich, healthy? How do you want to energetically feel right now? This is a question you need to ask yourself because this is what we're going to begin to create. So many are unintentionally creating misery because their thoughts are all over the place. Their emotions are all over the place. We're going to learn how to create intentionally. And in order to begin that practice and this process of learning how to create intentionally, we have to intentionally conjure up the thoughts and emotions within ourselves. So... Once you have decided how you want to energetically feel or established the specific color or emotion you want to play with today, uh, picture each emotion as a different color, as a different shade of, a same, of, 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 of the same color. And um, when you picture which one you want to play with today, now close your eyes and allow the mental picture of this feeling to rise in your imagination, to be formed in your imagination. Now, this, this is a completely simulated image. And how, it's a, it's a simulated image and this is what's really important. A lot of times this actually becomes a little bit difficult and, um, to create because our self image or the SI is so is such a low frequency, it's such a negative on the range of frequencies. You have the negative range, you have a neutral, and then you have the positive, right? And on from a negative range, um, this is I'm creating in negativity. On a positive range, I'm creating in positivity. And the truth is, the neutral space is the space in which all of it is created. You know, God shines on He reigns on the just and on the unjust. God is impartial. This universal manifestation of the divine is impartial in what it creates or where it creates. It is just a creative essence. And that is that neutral space. What we create is up to how we are going to consciously move within that neutral space or act. If you want to create positive, then this is the video for you. You want to create some negative shit. I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there for you. This is for you if you want to create a positive, uh, creative, loving, uh, ecstatic life. And so when you have those colors, the color of sexy, happy, rich, whatever it is that you want to create, that, that's the shade, then, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to really impress the image, the self-image on the inner consciousness or on the, 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 the background of our imagination. So I'm going to picture myself... And I'm going to begin to conjure up and raise the emotional feeling associated with that picture. What does happy look like? Now, I know what happy feels like for me, but what does it look like for me in this moment? What does being fucking uh, stoked about being alive feel like? Now, what does it look like for me in this moment? Now, if this is a struggle, again, if this is a struggle, it's just because the SI, this self-image is a low frequency and and i'm going to give you some tools in later videos and matter of fact you can go to lifeartistry.co links below and there's a, a powerful um some powerful courses coming up that'll help 
give you the tools necessary to raise that SI to at least stay in that neutral state so that you can begin to intentionally create. Because what happens is when we have such a low negative self image, it's very hard for us to conjure up. It's like we're dealing with black and whites here. And it's very, very difficult for us to conjure up the and picture the colorful images that we want to create. One of the ways that you can do this, I, I find it's really powerful, is for you to imagine or picture a memory if you have a memory of when you were really happy or a time like you were at the beach you were in jamaica you were in europe you were traveling you were doing something with some friends you were making love some a moment that you were just really happy if you can take that moment and really conjure up that moment picture yourself in that moment a moment if you've gained some weight and you want to feel sexy again picture that moment when you used to feel sexy how you used to carry yourself what did that feel like? What did that look like for you? And conjure that up. But really, there are a bunch of practices, meditative practices and the like, metaphysical practices that will help you come back to a place of neutrality or the space of being so that you can begin to create whatever you desire. And I'm going to reveal those practices again in some later videos, but also in upcoming uh, metaphysical mindfulness course and emotional mastery courses and other courses that you can check out at the link below. Now, I'm also going to be doing a free giveaway. Check this out. I'm going to be doing a free giveaway for the upcoming metaphysical mindfulness course. One free registration. It's a $420 value. And so be, be on the lookout for info on how you can sign up to possibly get the opportunity to have that free registration or get that free registration. So be on the lookout for that as well. And, um, Listen, man, life is so beautiful. It is such a colorful um, existence. And I want you to begin to experience that. Begin waking up every morning and setting your attention on how you want to feel. Set the tone for the day on how you want to feel, on what you want to experience, and on what you want to create. And then begin practicing that. If you got questions, drop them below, man. I'd love to field those questions for you. I'd love to chat with you further. And uh, please go, go, to the, go to the website. Check out those courses. If you cannot, listen, I know I shouldn't even be saying this, but I have, uh, if, you, if you want to register for the course and you genuinely can't afford it, look for the opportunity for the free course. But also, you can click on financial aid and we will help you out. We will make a way to make sure that you can attend that course. It's not about the money for me. It's about helping you be able to create the life of your dreams, really manifesting joy and happiness and live a fucking stoked life. I love each and every one of you guys. Hope you have a phenomenal day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.